How to send orders to suppliers on Shopify. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope all of you are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can send orders to your suppliers on Shopify using, you know, different uh, various dropshipping platforms and, uh, you know, different features and ways. So we're gonna be going through all of the steps and I'm gonna be going in great depth with this tutorial. So please just make sure to watch this video till the end and listen to all the information that I have to provide you with because if you do that properly then i guarantee you that by the end you're going to fully know and learn how to use shopify and how you can use it to send your orders to suppliers so to basically start yourself off what you're going to do is obviously you're going to have a proper account so for that we're going to go ahead and like i already assume you have an account so obviously we're going to go ahead and log in and here we have my account i'm going to log into my store now once i log into my store obviously we're going to make sure that we have a proper product inside of our dropshipping store okay so now when we have the product okay uh as we can see i have this product in my dropshipping store now what you can do is obviously here we have our orders and in our orders basically is where we're going to find you know where all the people have ordered our products and all that stuff so obviously the main thing will depend on our you know drop shipping platform because that's where we'll mainly you know uh see how we can send the orders to suppliers so let's talk about deezers okay deezer drop shipping so we're gonna come here okay and uh, let me tell you a little about deezers and this could be affiliated with anything to be honest it could be with ebay uh amazon all these things if you want to i'm only doing deezers as an example okay so now that we have you know come here with deezers obviously you're gonna go ahead and make sure you sign up with everything and once you've gone through the sign up process obviously from there it's going to be really simple and it's going to be really easy so obviously enter a proper email over here i'm just going to go ahead and uh, i'm obviously using a temp mail for this so you can use a temp mail if you want to or you don't have to like it totally depends on you i'm just doing this for the video purposes so once i do that i'm going to click on paste and create account and once i create account obviously as you can see we're going to go ahead and connect the platform that we actually use drop shipping with and once we do that as you can see it's going to ask you to add an app and everything you know connect your things and once you do that choose the email and store that you're actually going to connect it with and once you do that and you know once everything is done you're going to finalize everything click on yes and yeah you're going to be good to go so as we can see it's going to come to our store uh we're just going to go ahead and install the app now once the app and everything is installed from there on out what you're going to do is you're going to authorize and once everything is authorized as you can see the app's going to load and so please select a plan to continue more value with less cost obviously i'm going to go with the free plan get started now you're going to have to link to aliexpress now linking to aliexpress is pretty simple as well all you're going to do is you know have a proper aliexpress account and um, you know make sure to go ahead and uh, sign up with it over here now the aliexpress sign up is also pretty easy all you're gonna do is uh you know just add a few things like your email and stuff as you can see i've added that once i've added that i'm gonna go ahead and add a password for myself uh, so there we go now we're gonna click on create account and once you do that obviously from here on out just uh, make sure to verify yourself now once you've done that it's going to send a confirmation to your email so you're just going to come to the email that you know you have that you're working with and over here as you can see here's your verification code you're going to open the email you see what the verification code actually is there we go six nine seven four so six nine seven four you're going to add that you're going to click on verify email and from there on out it's going to load you in now once everything is done and you're loaded in and stuff obviously everything's going to be you know properly uh, verified and stuff once you've logged in with your aliexpress copy the details of your aliexpress store to your deezers as you can see you can uh, update it from here and as you can see everything's good to go now it's obviously going to open the deezers app for you over here and uh you know once we're authorized and stuff as you can see agree to everything authorize the store and once you've authorized the store you're going to come here to the deezers mainframe so this is obviously going to be the deezers main app and here is where you're going to get all the orders basically okay so let's say you're going to have products over here you're going to see all your products now right now i don't have any products so i'm gonna you know you can go and find suppliers or something like that let's say these headphones i want to import these so i'm going to go on app to import list it's going to come here so 
this is obviously your product now to obviously send it now like uh let's say this product is uh in your shop by store and this just got sold this just got ordered okay so what you're gonna do is obviously you're gonna select this variant and once you select this you're gonna push it to shopify okay and uh, once you push it to shopify it's you know gonna be there and people it's gonna be there for people to see now once all of that is done, you can uh, also come to the Shopify store and see the different variants that this brings you. OK, you can open the orders differently. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty simple stuff. Like uh, once you're an active seller, it's also going to give you options like pending, awaiting order, awaiting payments, awaiting shipment for all these different things. And obviously you're going to see that in open orders as it over here. So right now, obviously, we don't have an evading order because evading orders need to be uh, placed display here. So you have to fulfill the orders manually. So obviously you're going to get the order only then when you actually when like someone actually orders your product and once they do you're going to make sure to choose what variant you want to go with what supplier you want to go with and once you've chosen the variant and the proper supplier from there on out what you're going to want to do is you know it's just mess around with the tracking you know and uh, most people make the mistake of going with like the most cheap you know supplier but the issue with cheap suppliers although they are trustworthy there's no doubt in that but the issue with cheap suppliers is that they could you know potentially by chance they could be extremely late like a lot of suppliers take weeks and weeks some take months to supply your product so you know, it's a lot of hectic stuff. It's a lot of work to go with. So, you know, you get the whole point. Now, obviously, once we've gone ahead and discussed those technicalities, just uh, again, go ahead, sync the orders and everything, place the order to AliExpress. You're going to come here. So as you can see, you need to map the product to let users know which provider you are working with before your bulk order. So just go and click on place order to AliExpress. And once you click on place order to AliExpress, obviously, it's going to automatically do that. And once it automatically does that from there on out, you're going to be good to go. And and yeah, it's going to be easy surfing from there on out. So yeah. Uh, and again, make sure you're going to choose this store. Like you don't want to choose any other store or don't like click on all stores because then it will obviously implement all the products that you've imported over here to all of your stores that you currently have. And we don't want that. You know, we want a proper well wing, well working thing going on for us. So once you do that, obviously you're going to head over to AliExpress once you, you know, imported your orders and once you're in early express obviously you're gonna go into the orders pay for the order and pay it with the money that you got from the client that actually bought the order and uh, you know once the payment and everything is done yeah you're gonna be good to go then aliexpress will obviously ship it using the supplier that you suggested and once all of that is done yeah you're gonna be good to go so as you can see pretty nice pretty easy and pretty basic stuff to get your head around and um it's like uh, it's it's a pretty fun topic to um you know uh, have when it comes to, to running a proper e-commerce store and everything so yeah that's about it now if you enjoyed this video please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future please let me know down in the comments below and i will make more for you but yeah that's about it i thank you all for watching this video till the end that was all from me and i will be seeing all of you next time goodbye